Hi friends, it's Yana here today and welcome to my channel where I share a lot of sewing tips and trips and free patterns for you to try and sew up with me. Today I am going to make myself a Christmas PJ. So I've got some Christmas PJs that are super comfortable like an oversized top with some um, uh, biker shorts and I thought you know what I have some free patterns I can use to make this set and I'm gonna use some double brush poly Christmas fabric to create it so I'm going to be using the free um, the free adult PJ top by Ellie and Matt the knit version it's the gown version and I'm going to be using the peg leg the leggings patterns by patterns for pirates for the um, shorts so I'll add the information on the information box where you can grab these patterns let's sew them up such a quick and easy so let's do it together all right y'all I'm excited for this quick and easy so let's start with the leggings the peg legs uh, what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna grab separate them here grab one of them face them right sides together here at the inner seam because each one is a leg so you see that this makes one leg here. Okay, and then I'm gonna grab the other one, open it up and match up the other inner edge here. And that makes another leg. So I'll have my two legs done here. Then I'll just have to sew them together. This, this is so simple. There's one leg, here's another leg. And here's my waistband. I'm using the high rise, so it looks like a small waistband. I'm hoping it's gonna be good. Um, Cause obviously it's your waist is smaller, the high rise, the higher up. So I'm hoping it fits. And we're gonna sew it here at the shore raw edge, right sides together to create your waistband here. All right, so that's prepped for the leggings. Now for the top, so here's my sleeve and um, we're gonna prep everything as well. So here's my sleeves, I'm gonna separate them and prep them by folding them right sides together at that short raw edge. It kinda looks like the leggings too, right? So funny. There's one sleeve, here's the other sleeve. These are so great because they're cozy, comfy, fun, and um, you can actually do long sleeve if you wanted to. The peg legs, you can actually do them. I'm doing the biker um, length, but you could do the regular um, legging length if you live somewhere that's cold. I don't live somewhere that's super cold and I don't like to wear super warm things to bed. So that's why I'm doing the shorts version. So for the top, we're going to grab our bodice our front and our back and we're gonna meet it first at the shoulder seams right sides together now I wasn't sure what the right side of the fabric was if it was supposed to go this way or upside down so is is um, they're all kind of hanging in different ways like the elf is upside down here the Santa is right side up here but on my pegs I did it the opposite so the Santa is upside down on my legs <laughs> uh. All right, so I'm matching it here at the shoulders, right sides together. And then I'm gonna match it also at the sides, right sides together. Have you gotten all your Christmas sewing done yet? Today is the first day I've done all, uh, a bunch of Christmas sewing and I hope to share all these videos with you here in this coming week. Um, but it literally is getting so close to Christmas and I am rushing. I feel like I haven't had any time this month yet. It's been so super busy with my son. He does um, basketball and with school and, and everything. It's just been a busy se season. So I haven't been able to do any of the sewing. Next week um, is our last week of school. So I'm hoping to have some more downtime. He already had his last game of this year um so hopefully i'll have more time to get all my christmas sewing done that i've been wanting to get done all right i almost lost my neckband but i found it right sides together so here at the shore raw edge 
I am using my serger to sew all this up, but I do have a video coming out that shows you how you can actually sew up all these knit patterns on your sewing machine without having to worry about if you have a serger or not. Alrighty, now everything is prepped and ready. Here's my waistband for my pegs. Here's my one leg. Here's my second leg. Actually, yeah, that's my second leg. Okay, I'm gonna put that aside and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab one leg and flip it right side out. And then I'm gonna fit one leg into the other leg and match up that crotch seam here, right at the crotch. And then go up the seam and if you cut your pattern mirrored, this should match, match up. The rice should match up exactly. If your rice doesn't match up here, that means that you cut them um, the same way. You have to cut them mirrored. I also have a video coming here to show how to cut the fabric and what that means, like mirrored and on the fold and the double fold. So make sure you check that video out as well. Okay. So we're gonna sew that crotch seam and then when we come back, we'll just have to sew the waistband and hem and we'll be done with the leggings. For the top, we're gonna grab our top and we're gonna turn it. Well, actually we're not gonna turn it. We're gonna leave it just like this. We're gonna grab our sleeves and we're gonna turn those right side out. Now remember that we marked our back on our sleeves, which means that this is the back that needs to touch the back of the top. Now the back is the higher side. So when I fit this in here, this needs to touch the back. Now, if I do that, this is gonna touch the front. So that's for that side. So this is the sleeve for this side. So I'm gonna fit it into the arm side and match up this bottom seam here. That's the armpit seam, right sides together. And as you can see here, there's the notches for the back and that's going to line up with the back of the top. And we're matching the raw edges all the way around or right sides together. This notching here, that's gonna get cut off as I'm serging it on because I just left that so I can mark it. That was just for marking. Now we can go ahead and work on the neckline here. What we're gonna do is match up the two shoulder seams and go to the back, mark it, and to the front and mark it. I like to mark with my nips. Um, I do have a tutorial here on my channel on how I get the perfect neckband, and there's different things that I do. So if you wanna check those out, that would be really, really helpful. I'm gonna match up the front and the back and go to the sides. And then I'm gonna grab my neckband and fold it wrong sides together, hot dog style. I am gonna trim this extra thread here. And then I'm also going to quarter it by going from the back to the front and marking it and then matching the front and back and going to the sides and marking them. And now I'm going to attach those quarters to the quarters of the bodice. Right sides together, starting with the seam at the back. our shirt is done all we've got to do with it is to go ahead and finish up the neckline if you want to sew something there to to close that in i do have a tutorial on how to do that and hem but honestly a lot of times on these sews that are just like for pjs for myself and they're double brush poly which does not fray sometimes i don't even hem them so we'll see i'm going to try it on and then figure out if i want to hem it or not but the top is done, it just needs hemming if I do decide to hem it. So I'm gonna put it to the side. That was so easy and simple. 
And then for my shorts, my leggings, I'm going to attach my waistband. Again, for the leggings bottoms, again, you can go ahead and hem them, but I'm gonna try them on and see if I wanna hem them or not and decide after. Now, these look so small, but I they're my size and I've made them before and they're high-waisted, so this is the top of the waist. So I'm really hoping it, they just cinch me in. And that's okay, I like these um, to be, um, to cinch me in. I don't like them to be like falling down at the, at the waist. Okay, so I've got here my waistband. I'm folding it right sides together. I mean, wrong sides together, I'm sorry. I'm doing essentially the same thing that I did with the neckband because I'm gonna go from the back here to the front and mark it. Mark it, mark it. And then match up the front and back and go to the sides and mark the sides. And I wanna do the same for my leggings. Here's my front and, and back and go to the sides. Oh, I already marked them. Did I? I thought I did. This one looks marked. Okay, so then I'm gonna fit my waistband and match those quarter points. And then we'll be done once I sew this up. Again, I'm gonna try them on and see if I wanna hem them, but because these are um, double brush poly, which is a knit that does not fray, um, I may leave them raw. And also they're for me, so if I was gonna give them away to, as a present, I would definitely hem them. But since I'm not, I might not. Let's sew that up and I'm gonna try it on. All right, friends, we are finished. Look at this. It looks so good. It fits so great. Um, the shorts fit great. Um, I was a little bit worried, but they do fit really, really nicely. Um, I have not hemmed them, but I did fold the hem up. I'm not sure if I wanna hem them or not or just leave them raw. Um, the top is raw still. Here's Bo. He checks them out. He thinks they look really good. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. These, excuse me, I'm talking. These were so easy to sew. Okay, he wants to say hello. Say hi. All right, these were so easy to sew. And like I said, they're free. Uh, so go, I'm gonna put the information on the link below, the link on the information box below. I'm sorry, I'm being distracted by the dog. I'm going to put the information on these patterns on the information box below so you can go grab them and come back and sew them up, sew them up with me. I hope you have a great rest of your day and happy holidays. I'm gonna go see what this guy wants and I'll see you all next time. Subscribe if you haven't.